As a developer and entrepreneur, efficiency is everything. And since the time when I started learning to code, one of the coolest things to me about being able to program is having the ability to code things to automate my life, to make my life more efficient, to make my life easier. And in this video, I'm going to show you a cool tool that allows you to code your own custom automations to automate pretty much anything and to do that much more easily than if you were not using this tool, essentially. So this tool is a platform called Appify, which I've been playing around with a lot recently to build what they call actors, which are essentially just programs, which can be, for example, web scrapers. And essentially, they just make the whole process of building them as well as publishing and using them easier than if you were trying to do this without Appify. So today in this quick video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use Appify, how to build your own actors using it. And then at the end, if you are interested in sharing your automations with other people, how you can also publish them so that other people can use them as well, or even sell them if it is something that you think would be useful for other people to the point where they might be willing to pay for it. Now I did partner with them for this video, but this is the kind of tool that I would be using anyway, and that I really wish I had when I was a beginner programmer wanting to build my own automation, because as I will show you, Appleify makes this process much easier. And later on, I will also tell you about a challenge that they are running where you can literally win money prizes by building actors on Appify using the same process that I'm going to share to you in this video. So that's another reason for you to really follow along here. But before we start building our own Appify actors, let's take a brief moment to understand what is Appify and how does it actually work. So Appify actors are essentially serverless cloud programs that can perform anything from a simple action like filling out a web form to a much more complex operation like crawling an entire website or removing duplicates from a large data set. And essentially every actor has like three different parts to it. You have input, and then you have the source code that defines what the actor actually does. And then you have the output of what this automation, this actor actually produces. And then in between, it can obviously communicate with APIs, it can communicate with external system, and it also has its own data set where all the results and the outputs are stored and things like that. But in all its simplicity, that is what is happening. And so here we have an example of an Appify actor. This one is a Google Maps scraper. So when it is published, it will show up in the Appify store where you can use it from an interface that looks like this. So we have a description and things like that. And over here, we have the input that the creator of this actor has defined here. The input is a search term, which this crawler is then going to get from Google Maps and give you some results from. So we will just search for a restaurant, for example, and for the location, we will put Dubai United Arab Emirates, and then we will run this actor. As you can see, it is now running and it is getting my data. And after a while, it will come back with some data. And so here we can see the results that it has given me. It's giving them to me in this nice, format where we have the restaurant name, we have the street, city, website, whatever. So you can imagine someone using this as market research, for example. So now you could get this data as either JSON or whatever format you want, and then use it to process it in whatever way you want. So now that we understand how these actors work, let's now take a look at how we can code these ourselves. And what's really cool right now is that they're actually running a challenge with a total of $1 million in prizes for developers who build these actors. So the rewards go as follows. You get $2 per active users with a minimum of $100 and a maximum of $2,000. They also have $2,000 in weekly spotlight awards, as well as 30K, 20K and 10K final prizes for the top three creators. And this competition is open to absolutely everyone with up to five actors per participant. So you can create up to five of these to win these awards. And all you have to do to join is click my link down below in the description. So just click that link, follow the instructions. Now you're enrolled. So now let's get to the good part of actually building automations. So what I recommend you do is you go to docs.appify.com and you can go to actor development and then a quick start, which is going to give you a quick start tutorial on how you can get started. So essentially there are three options when it comes to developing your actors, you can either start locally in your chosen IDE, which could be cursor, VS code, whatever. You can use the Appify web IDE, which is like their own IDE, or you can start building with AI. So in this video, I'm just gonna start locally. So once you go in here, first of all, it's gonna ask you to have Node.js installed and the Appify CLI, which essentially just means running a command 
like for example with npm you can just run npm install dash g appify dash cli and i've already done that so i'm not going to run that but just make sure to do that before you get started and then what we have in here is i've got a folder open in vs code and what you need to do next we need to rule is run a command appify create what that is going to do is going to give you a couple of options like the name. So what I'm going to create in this video is a YouTube comment analysis automator. So essentially as a YouTuber, often I have to read comments to like understand what you guys are saying and things like that. But often that can take a lot of time. So I thought why not build an AI that can scrape my comments and give me a summary without me having to manually read through all the comments. So what I'm going to call this is yd comment analyzer then it's going to ask for the programming language i'm just going to use javascript and then there are going to be some templates which is going to be very very helpful so i'm going to start with just an empty javascript project because i already kind of know how i want to build this and then i'm going to click install template which is going to run an installation and this is essentially going to build you the skeleton for this project which is then going to become your actor and our code has been installed so it's given me a bunch of files here just to brief you on how this works if you go to src and main.js this is where the main logic of your actor is going to be housed and then there's a couple of more things here in dot actor we have for example actor dot json which is defined some basic information like the name and things like that and if it is not already here you're going to want to create a file called input underscore schema dot json which is going to essentially define what the input should look like for this actor so here i'm just going to copy paste what i have for this project and then i'll just explain what is going on the important thing here is these properties part which you want to add to this JSON and what I'm going to want to ask the users is for the video ID of the video whose comments that should be scraped then we also need to define what is going to be the output of this actor and for that we're going to create a similar JSON called output underscore schema dot JSON which is going to look something like this we have actor output schema version just the version again just the title and then the properties and over here what we're putting in these properties is simply a link to the data set and in this file over here data set underscore schema dot json which you also have to create we will define the structure of the actual data that is going to be the output from this actor and again you can find the details of what all of that means inside of the docs so for here what we will obtain is a list of the actual comments as well as the sentiment analysis which is going to be text simply from the ai and then we'll also get the length of the comments which is going to be just a number and then the video id that was scraped and then finally here in actor.json you will define input and simply put dot slash input schema dot json same for output and then storages and to essentially link these files to the actual actor inside of this actor.json file. So the point here is not the exact code of this project because what I want you to do if you want to succeed in this challenge is to find your own ideas and code your own actors. I'm just going to show you a kind of an overview of how this code works so that you can go and take this as kind of a template and go code your own ideas. So what is essentially going on here is whenever you start a actor, you need to call this actor dot init which essentially just configures the actor is a class which you have imported from the appify library that you just installed before and then at the end you call actor dot exit and in between is going to be your custom logic that defines how this actor works so first so remembering again how this works you have input the code and then the output first we somehow need to get access to the input from the user which we're going to get with this command await actor dot get input which calls and gets the input from the user and then we store that as a variable over here 
And then from this input, we need to get the input that we're looking for. In our case, we only have one input, which is the video ID. So we'll just break this down from the input like that. And then we'll do some error handling to make sure that we actually have this input. And then what I need to do is build the YouTube URL based on the video ID, which we receive from the user, which I'm gonna do like this. I just happen to know that this is the format of the URLs of the videos because we need the URL in order for our crawler to go and crawl the comments from it. And then what we will do is import a library called Playwright Crawler, which is essentially a framework for crawling websites using JavaScript, which you're gonna use in this video. There's also different ones that you can use. And then we will go and create our crawler, which is going to start crawling this particular URL, which we're creating over here by calling crawler equals new Playwright Crawler. And then inside, we're gonna create what is called a request handler, which is what is going to be called when this runs. At the end, we're gonna be running this crawler over here. So what happens here? We're defining the crawler, and then here we are actually running the crawler. So we're gonna remove that, which is gonna create like a log of processing this URL to make sure that we have the URL correct. And here as this page URL, we have access to the actual page that we are crawling. And I'm gonna call await page dot wait for timeout to essentially wait three seconds. So 3000 milliseconds to make sure that the page actually loads before we try to crawl it. Then I'm gonna call a function called await dot page evaluate to scroll to the section where the comments for the video are actually going to be. And then again, we are going to wait for two seconds to wait for these comments to be loaded before we try to crawl them. I'm just gonna make this look a bit nicer. And then what I need to do is go to a URL for a video and try to see how to actually find the comments from the DOM. So if we just go to one of my videos over there, we go to the bottom, this is where the comments are, and we will go and inspect and try to see what kind of elements these comments are inside of. And so this is how you allow the crawler to access the parts of this DOM that you are looking for. TLDR, from here we find that our comments can be found from a div which has classes that look like this. And the way we access them using Playwright is using this kind of syntax, page dot dollar sign dollar sign eval, which essentially just searches for all the elements with these kind of classes. And then from that, we're gonna map these elements into the text content inside of them, which gets the actual comment text. And then we will just log to see how many comments were found. And for now, what I will just do is if there were more than zero comments found, I'm just gonna log the actual comments, just like that. And then what I'm gonna do is call actor.pushData, which actually pushes this into the output of this actor, which the user is then going to see. So to actually test this, what we need to do also is go to storage and key value stores. And in this input over here, we're gonna create I get test input, which when we're just testing this locally, we're gonna like pretend that the user is giving us this kind of input over there. And then to run this, we're gonna call appify run. That is a command you need to run. Okay, it says actor is of an unknown format. Make sure that your project is supported appify cli, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I think we need to run npm install. All right, so now that I've installed everything, let's take a look if this works now. So I'm gonna try appify run again, which is going to, looks like now start the crawler. It is processing the correct URL and it has found nine comments. And over here, it is just printing out all of those comments. So this alone could be a great automation, but to make this more useful, what I'm gonna do is connect this to the chat GPT API. So over here, I'm gonna initialize the open AI library, which I am then going to import from over here and of course install, so we don't forget that, npm install openAI. Once we get these comments, instead of just logging them, what I'm going to do is first join them just as a string like that. 
And then I'm just gonna paste this code in here and just walk through it because it's quicker to do it that way. So here we have a try cache block where we are getting a response from the openai.chat.completions.create. We're choosing the model over here and we are sending this message. Analyze the sentiment of these YouTube comments and provide an overview summary where it just pastes the comments tag. And then I'm asking it, please provide overall sentiment, positive, negative, or neutral, key themes or topics mentioned, brief summary of the viewer reactions. And then we're gonna get this analysis from the response dot choices, zero dot message dot content. And then we're just gonna log the sentiment over here and then push it to the output of the actor with this command over there. So we're gonna see how that goes by running this again. Let me just see if I missed anything. So the crawler is again starting. We are processing the URL. We found nine comments and looks like it got the ChatGPT response quite quickly here. So sentiment analysis, overall sentiment, the sentiment of the user comments is mostly neutral with a mix of positive and negative comments, key themes and topics, brief summary, and you can read through it this if you want. So this is actually a very cool automation that I was able to do very quickly here that is useful for me personally. So what I want you to do is create something that is useful to you. And once you have created your own actor, what you can then do is publish this in the Appify store. So to do this, what you're gonna call is first Appify login to simply log into your Appify account. It's gonna ask either through the console or with the API tokens. I'm gonna to do it with the console. It is opening the Appify console over here. I'm just gonna click login over there. Oh, I should click allow over there, I guess. And it looks like I'm now successfully logged in. And finally, what I need to do is push this to my Appify account by calling Appify push. Now it's going to take a moment to run, but what is going to happen is that it is going to eventually appear inside of your Appify account, which you can find over here by clicking on my actors. And here we have my YouTube comment analyzer. And if you now want to publish this, what you're going to simply do is click here on publication and then over here on publish to store. Now I'm not gonna do that because I don't actually want to publish this because it's using my OpenAI key and everything like that. But then you're gonna have settings where you can monetize it if you want to and everything like that. So essentially Appify not only allows you to automate things, but like create your own mini apps. Like I was able to just publish this thing without needing to build a landing page, without needing to build a UI for people. So pretty, pretty cool. Definitely highly suggest you try it out. Again, thank you for Appify for partnering with me on this video. And again, a reminder, they are running this channel. So I highly, highly recommend you go and flex your programming muscles, build your own ideas using Appify, and you could even be winning some prizes from that. So good luck, and I will see you in the next video.